first of all, Mark, the mood of yourself and, and the players. Obviously, it's been a, a difficult time, a difficult few weeks of results. How would you describe the, the mood in the camp at the moment? It's only been a week, Rob. You know, we had uh, we've had a bad week where we've had poor results, but actually some pretty good performances or parts of performances. And it's part of uh, it's part of what happens in a, in a championship season or any season for that matter. I think um, you know we're not we're not in a in a terrible place in terms of our um, our performances, but we've got to turn some of those chances into goals. We've got to turn some of the performances a little bit um, you know be a little bit better, a bit more sort of concise, but also with um, with an idea that we're not going to just pass the ball for the sake of it you know I think really that that's not what we do but when teams sit deep that's you know what you're confronted with you're confronted with a wall and that's what they try and do they try and uh, keep you away to try and frustrate you to commit more bodies forward to expose you on a counter attack and that's uh, and that's certainly what teams have tried to do against us so uh, we've got to be better at that when that happens um, but like I say not lose any confidence but um We've certainly got to look for uh, a way of winning more football matches now. You know that's for sure. And Hadji Wright and, and Ben Wilson, obviously, you know their individual contributions had something to do with the the result the other night. How have you sensed that that those two are, are, are reacting now to to that? Um, well, I think that's a that's an individual thing. I think it's it was interesting to watch the other night. Confidence it plays a part for sure. Um, you know, certainly with the response of the supporters to Hadji was impressive. I was really, really happy with it. You know, they've got right behind him, and he can feel that support, and that's what that's what they need to do. So I'm really thankful to the supporters for that that reaction. Um, brilliant, and uh, that's got to be the case until we can find our uh, our 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 gear. You know, our top gear. We've not found that yet, but you know, we're, we're searching for that. Um, in terms of goalkeepers making mistakes, invariably that happens and the ball ends up in the back of your net and that's what happened. And it puts you on the back foot, um, but it's how you respond. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking for, I'm, I'm clearly looking for more from, from everywhere. Um, but again, you go back to that word I've been using all, all, the, all the season so far and that's process and... and Unfortunately, this is part of a process where you want to win every game. We're in every game, and I think we're in every game more than we've ever been before. So, you know, that's a positive. Um, and the results will turn, there's no doubt. But what you can't do is you, you can't sort of throw the, the uh, water, your bath water out with a baby or the baby out with the bath water, whichever way you want to uh, phrase it. I think we need to just stay focused and, and together and, and we'll come through it. And I think, you know, that... that it sounds rhetoric, but really we've got to work. There's only one way of doing it: it's working on the training field and in the games, and getting that, uh, uh, you know, getting that belief up through the performances, which will in turn turn the results. Hi, Liam. You're right. Hi, mate. You're right. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Very good. Um, I asked the gaffer this question. Just the sense that the mood within the players. Obviously, it's been you know a difficult two or three games. Um, Losing and not scoring in, in the last three games. How has that affected the the mood of the camp? Would you say, Liam? Um, not much really. I think because of the groups coming together, um, we're a very tight knit group now. I think, and uh, I think this is only going to bring us together a lot more and make us a better team, a stronger team on on and off the pitch. But yeah, we've been working hard in training to make things right. So um, hopefully tomorrow or um, on Saturday. Uh, we can get a result of that. Have you got in your own mind what your settled back three ideally would be? Uh, you know, again, talking personally, maybe that's one of the, the issues, settling on a, on a back three and having that for, for a run of games. Or are you, you still in the mindset to, to rotate at this point? Well, we've got to find, uh, look, form changes, um, fitness changes, people get injured, people get fatigued. Um, there are, you know, form then obviously takes a hit. Confidence changes; those are things that are that are that are happening at the moment. I have to try and pick the side that I feel is the best equipped to deal with the challenges that that are, that are upcoming, um, and that's difficult at the moment. Absolutely, clearly, I'd like to be settled. I'd like to make sure that we're in a 
in a settled period um, to give people a chance to find that form. Um, but clearly that's, that's difficult uh, at the moment because of the variables that you, uh, that you face all the time in sport and in life. So, yeah, I will find something, I will find a solution to things, but it, it, like, again, it's something, it's something else that's going to evolve. What's it going to take to, to kind of turn this little run that you've had around? Is it just a case of maybe getting a, a lucky break and, and things will I think carry so, on yeah. from there? I think so, yeah, because I think we've been playing well. For the past two or three games, I think most of the game we've dominated. Um, it's just going to take that lucky goal, and I think once we get that confidence... It'll it'll soon fall into place and we'll we'll show how much of a real good team we are. In terms of people coming back, I mean Casey Palmer, for example. I mean, how close to he is, is, is knocking on the door again? He'll be after international break um, and probably training uh, the week into the Millwall game. I think um, so. We're, we're yeah pleased with that. He's he's turned the corner now. That thankfully. And uh, and we can look forward to sort of him progressing now fairly quickly. That's good. And Liam Kelly, similarly, what's the situation with him? Yeah, he's on the grass. Fabio's on the grass, and and they're obviously working towards fitness. I think this uh, well this weekend comes too soon for Liam, but next weekend uh, is a potential, and uh, and Fabio's working his way through, and and like like Callum. Uh, you know, don't really want to put a time scale on it, but he's looking, he's looking better. He's joining in with some of, some parts of the sessions now. The unopposed, the the unopposed stuff, maybe passing drills or, you know, in, in possessions, but on the outside and utilising him in that way just to get him involved. So he's he's getting closer all the time. Yeah, I mean, for example, Hadji Wright's chance goes in early in the second half the other night rather than the other side of the post. It suddenly potentially then becomes a different game against West Brom, doesn't it? Yeah, of course, but it's not just Hadji that needs to contribute to the goals, it's everyone. I mean, I think we can score more set pieces, even the, even us at the back. And uh, But yeah, you, you can't just pinpoint it on the strikers. I think, uh, like I said, it's it, it's got to come from everywhere on the pitch. Thanks, Mark. Thank Cheers. you. Thank you.